Hallelujah. Amen. Bese mujya mutekereza ku rukundo rw'Imana kumva korongana. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Ago muraz, ntago ntago muranyegera. Hallelujah. Amen. If you could not go away, yes, well, Jan and Habib Sukana, Sinabishi Namazan Mohana, Wabi Soman Ridanes, Babi Fugahanga Chega Togus, who was seen you square. Isuru Kundan Gawe, Vida de Menecha, Ugenja Gati, Uba Sabuka.
Zimana. Hai be burukudo, be burukudo rutanga she.
Baza Ukwiriye Gushimwa We give you all The glory We worship you our Lord You are worthy to be praised We give you all The glory We worship you our Lord You are worthy to be Yesu Yakozu Murimo Avandiva Nani Yesu Yakozu Murimo Avandiva Yashegushi Ramu Mahoro Avariba Jie Gupa Yashegushi Ramu Mahoro Avariba Yesu, Yesu, ya kozu muri mo abandiwa kadiwe. Yesu, Yesu, ya kozu muri. Ya shegushi Ramu mahoro Amari wajie gupa Amari wajie gupa Ya shegushi Ramu mahoro Ramu mahoro, abari wajie gupa. Haleluya, wajie gupa. Subira mo Yesu, Yesu, ya kozu muri mo. Yes, 
Now, 
Hallelujah, no, not which is the reason that Yah is got a Hallelujah, Tony and Anonet and Anime Cavalry got a Hallelujah, Trashimima and Akuga Drops Band, Iman Neva Homogisha, Twachiri, Emmy, Mutrans Little Achu, and now we Nahaguru Kadusu, the reason that Yah is Amen. Twachiri, the least, Rikuri, said VC Hari Mere, now we Nahaguru Kadusu, the reason that Yah is. Hallelujah. <laughs> Iman is singing a chant, Iman is a woman, Jisha, to the Kungan of Jay, Naoni Nao, who are joining the platform Yach, your time revival, to our Saviango, Ahovicha Hano, Vahaguru Kehanuma, but the souls that watch the music at the eyes. Nikaribu 
Amen. Turabakiriye nabo mu izina rya Yesu. Imana ibaho umugisha twakiriye Joseline, umuyobozi wa gahunda yacu. Nawe twashima Imana kubwe mu izina rya Yesu. Dukomere Imana amashi. Haleluya, haleluya. Ah, dushimiye Imana ko yaduhaye uyu mwanya kugira ngo duterane. Ah, nta kidasanzwe turaza kugira ibihe byiza imbere y'Imana. Yesu ashimwe cyane. Amen. 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 Muhaguruke, muhaguruke twakirane hanyuma munda mukanyo y'abana b'Imana. Dimwe kabiri gatatu murakaza neza bene data imani bo mugisha hamwe natwe turabishimiye kandi turabakunda amen imani bo mugisha mu zina rya Yesu haleluya tiye guhimbaza imana tunayiramye abarenimbyi baradufasha Ani ma gufash kwa bire mewe, no fash kuga haguruka, no fash kwa uka, uko muka wera, akuyogora, abari kubikora, nisi narja isu. Duko mereje mumurongo mngiza, uko fukuruku ndorgu imana. Be. Yeah. 
Yesu Yesu yavuze Takwirie Bega 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 Takwirie Begi babazi na diriwe na Yesu Kristo havi kuiriye begu kunu ba ngabi tsubusa azira wowe na je ngabi Yesu. Dahi baskwe Bega bega Aina Dukunze tudakwiriye ayi mana yo kuri komeza kunyobora kandi uranshishe mu nzira yo kuri byo ushaka kuko kuba aho tudafite Yesu ntacyo bimaze hayi
Alleluia. Alleluia. Urugendo rw'ubujene uravunanye ariko ushobora kuvuna umuntu utaramenye Kristo. Muri Yesu birorushye. Kandi kuba byoroshye so ko tutanyura mu bikomeye. Ahubwo igikomeye nuko twamenye ko hari ukomeye kubirusha. Hallelujah. Hari imva nyinshi abajene benshi bazagwamo. Hari imva nyinshi abakobwa benshi bazagwa. Hari imva nyinshi abasore benshi bazagwamo. Ari kabize Kristo azabasimbutsa bazabaho. Twese hallelujah. Kandi muzagira ibyishimo byinshi. Hari hari giye uzajya wicara wumva iminsi yo kwizera Kristo kwawe uri kuyicuza. Hari giye uzajya wicara ukireba ukavuga ngo mbese ni nje wa wundi wagerageje gukora bya bindi nka bameze gutya. Ntago muzicuza. Zafati bimu nyishimana. Bigira impamvu yo kuyeza. Zariri Why? <laughs> muri hafi yanjye muri hafi ya Kristo imitima yanyu munumva yegereye Kristo Zafati bimu nyishimana bigira impamvu yo kuyeje zariri miso kunesha yeze kumusonso uruje nabo zicusa kumukuriki fite impamvu si Simple, 
Remasa na wai arasek, hajiman awu sek. Sejere bakuru awu, sejere baruku na awu, sejere babizara awu, sejere bene wan, abandi mukorana, abandu zibiru kamu muhanda, abu biu zibu genje, abandu zibu jana ni buzi mabu kwachira Kristo bjanze. Tu bari lire tu gire Kristo ngi baraga zatu zani, na bazaaba zana, bakaza tu bafati kanya kwamba masa. Kami bki mana nusha kufuka me kukonyenzi ure mere bifite, rafuka ma ndwe suri shaka. Hallelujah. Uri Kristo. Uro mureje ziwachu. Turagushimie. Umugora wabuyu. Turagushimie. Zimuhura. Uri Kristo. Kandu unge melira wese. Ara mumuhura. Amen. Mungira shira ma. Sore na ba konga tu ba bi rengo na kure chani mura jira mubja yesa ta kurumu kani na kure heza imani taja zumu nuhu magachiza akachiri mbaba zizima bani wamu shami zina rija yesu katu kachiri mge jisha agu kane uri mumu semu lile hanyuma inego ya ya masenje shura wangu wongere ubeho wongere mubeho wongere mubeho uri kristo wongere mubeho mge zina rija yesu amen The Holy Spirit has been telling me that there is no power that is able to stop the unity of the earth. Yes, Praise the Lord. One milestone that was hit in the world of the spirit is that Satan has known that the youth has stood up and is going to pray. Yari itegu yeko tufata imbaraga zubusore ni miaka. 
the devil was thinking that we were going to use this power and our different opportunities hanyuma tukatangira gushushanya uburyo twazana imana muri ibyo ngibyo he thought he was going to bring God into our opportunities and chances ariko yikanze cyane abonye dutangiye gusenga but he was very shocked when we started praying a gusenga ni intwari ikomeye cyane a prayer is a very very powerful weapon ah na zindi mbaraga zitwicaje hano and there is no power that is gathering us together here except the power of the prayer. This person who, have prayed, who has prayed and prayed and prayed has reached the victory in his life. And this secret that we have known is going to, is going to cause us to pray together. Again. We pray again. Hallelujah. Youth time revival. This youth time is revival. Hallelujah. 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 We're going to read the word of God with a theme that says getting back the life. Getting back to life. We're going to read the word of God in the book, in the epistle of Paul, the apostle to the Corinthians, to the Thessalonians, chapter 5, verse 23. Let's read the word of God. The word says, chapter 5, verse 23, Now may the God of peace himself sanctify you completely, and may your whole spirit, soul, and body be preserved blameless at the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. The book of Ezra, chapter 1, verse 1. Let's read together. Aramagambovuzengomungakawamberehukungomayakuromungamewuperesi. Uwiteka Imana nyirijuru yangabiye ibihugu by'abami bose byo mwisi yanyihanangirije kuyubakira inzu ya Yerusalemu mu Buyuda none umuntu wo mu bantu bayo wese uri muri mwe Imana iye uri muri mwe Imana iye ibane nawe azamuke ajye Yerusalemu Buyuda yubaka inzu y'Uwiteka Imana ya Israheli ari yo Imana the book of Ezra, chapter 1, verse 1. Now, in the first year of Cyrus, king of Persia, that the word of the Lord by the mouth of Jeremiah might be fulfilled, the Lord stirred up the spirit of Cyrus, king of Persia, so that he made a proclamation throughout all his kingdom and also put it in writing, saying, Thus says Cyrus of Persia, Cyrus, king of Persia, all the kingdoms of the earth, the Lord God of heaven has given to me, and he has commanded me to build him a house at Jerusalem, which is in Judah, who is among you of all his people. May his God be with him, and let him go up to Jerusalem, which is in Judah, and build the house of the Lord God of Israel. He is God, which is in Jerusalem. Amen. Amen. We are going to talk about the theme of this month that we will walk by and it was revealed to God which, say, which says God wants us to get back to life. I've tried to, to bring common sense and I found that when God wants to restore his people, 
mbere yuko Imana igarurira abantu ubuzima icya mbere no kubaho ku gami bw'Imana mu gami bw'isi one of the things that um, that God cannot touch on cannot touch you when they are not changed is living the kingdom of God in the kingdom of the world kubaho ku gami bw'Imana mu gami bw'isi Yesu yarabivuze aravuga ngo ibyo ushaka ko biba mwijuru ndashaka ko mujya musenga ari byo biba mwisi Jesus said uh, may, may, uh, Jesus told us when we pray, we should pray that his, heal, his will in heaven might be fulfilled also on the earth. When we pray, we bring down the will of God from heaven to earth. Praise the Lord. And the second, the second thing is that we should receive the will of God and make it work in our lives. They are very broad words, but Holy Spirit is going to help us get the meaning. Receiving the will of God and make it to come to life and make it work in your everyday life. The third thing is matching the will of God in His thoughts in Jesus Christ, through Jesus Christ and matching matching this uh, life of the thoughts with your life in the world. God will never change lives of the youth until they make sure that what they want to do is what God wants them to do. We've read the word of God in first and the good word which says uh, the fresh, the spirit and the soul should be protected. These are very, uh, three very important things that God wants us to talk about today. We've been raised in different churches spiritually. We thank those churches and we thank God who used those But this is the time that we unite this power of the youth. I may come and you will come. So we will think about the broader things that God wants us to do. And this, this is the and the only purpose of these three things is in these three other points that we're going to talk about. The fresh, spirit, and the soul. We are going to be the youth who are going to work for God with so much money. I was talking to my fellow evangelist and I asked her, did you go to preach at church? And she said, not yet. And I told her, I am going to go there by my private church because it's very far. Because if God tells me today you're going to Changu, tomorrow you're going to Rabu, after tomorrow you're going to uh, another place, I will be very challenged because I don't have a plan. On this platform, we are going to think about how the youth can stand up and shake the world. What's very surprising, and I'm sure that you know, there is a fellow young person. They leaked some pictures which, which shook 
our utmost fear. But that's not what I'm going to focus on. But we should be very sorrowful because of his comments. Uh, he said these are my future projects so I'm sorry it was not in the due time and then I found out that the youth who do not know Christ have very very big projects and, and these projects are the ones which distract uh, our spiritual youth spirits. Then I thought, how about us Christians? What projects do we have? But let's clap for the Lord who talked about this platform that we have. We are also going to think about big projects. Our country is very blessed. Our parents are very and praise the Lord who has given us peace and safety. It is the chance that we could ne never take for granted. Let's use it for its purpose. Let's spread the gospel. Let's bring to those, let's bring those boys to Jesus. Let's bring those boys to Jesus. And it's very personal. Jesus' power is still Hallelujah, hallelujah. Christ's power is still work. God was just waiting for us to sit together. And then they take the money that their parents have provided. And they get ready that they, they are going to use it. And the Holy Spirit was going to operate. My brethren, let me tell you, the heaven is very good. Thanks to God that he, he gave he gave you to me and I, I lost you in some time ago. Maybe I'm looking so far and you'll be like, what is he getting this from? But God is going to boost our faith. If your faith meets you, God will see great miracles that the youth need to Praise the Lord. This is our time to stand up and do what our parents did. Our state is sitting down and they are thinking about how to help, how to support Christian youth. That's why we thank them uh, because they. Our parents prayed and God told them that to educate their children. And sometimes God called our leaders. And then our parents still kept bowing down, no. down and praying for the leaders. The education that our parents do not have, we have it. We are the spiritual planet. We know how to plan for our business. So what are your projects in, in the spiritual life? God is saying, let's get back to life in the next when God comes to, to when God wants to restore your life, He starts with three important things: the flesh, the spirit, and the soul. In the, in the flesh, we can find these things. We find all things which relate us to the world. In the morning, when you wake up, you go to a different business. Some of you go to education education. Some of us go to social media. Other youth maybe go to some politics.
Abandi mani bishiza mwe entertainment zitambuka. Others are entertainment. Abandi tukaba busy mu bigorwa by'imiryango yacu. Some of us are very busy in family projects. Na inverno ma ibintu byinshi fite twirirwa dukora buri munsi. And the environment has so many aspects that. Ari aha imani irashaka intebe yayo kihaza. So God wants his throne in every aspect that I've talked about. Kubaho kugambi bw'Imana mu bwami bw'isi nuko ibintu byose turi kubaho muri uyu mubiri tubihuza no gushake bw'Imana bw'izina rya Yesu. The living of kingdom of heaven in the kingdom of the earth is just bringing down the will of God to whatever we do on the earth. Musore mugenzi wa udakijijwe n'umukobwa udakijijwe iyo yinjiye muri business yawe. Ni gute abona kubaho kugamba ibimana muri business yawe? How does your friend who is not uh, who does not have Christ as their savior see living of Jesus Christ in your in your business? Mo mise shize naganiye n'umwe muri bene data bataramenya Kristo Yesu no mwami no mukiza. Sometimes go I talk to a person who is not saved. She was a girl. And then I asked her. How are you? Uh, is everything okay? And then she asked me. And then I asked her how, how do you think about your future? What do you love? What are your aspirations? What are your callings? What is very crucial for you as you work towards your future? And then she laughed at me. She told me I'm just enjoying my life. I'm, I don't have time to think about them. And then I was very shocked. Then she said, Do you think my head has time to sang And then I found that this whole security and development that God has given to us. Christian youth. As as Christian youth, if we do not Get the revolution of Satan, what Satan is doing in all these peace that you have. To this angamia kitsumi. We will find ourselves in ten years of the generation. Having a generation of ladies and gentlemen who are living in their disturbed world. Lose this security because they never want to bring the will of God to their life. If we really, as we, you know, we go to without deeper to this part of the spirit, we will find two things. There's the Holy Spirit and the evil spirit. When you are very dealt by the body in, in our living in our daily life, and you are not connected to the spirit, you are connected to evil spirit. Whatever it is, you are putting into practice the will of Satan. You are helping Satan to speak. Their and God is calling us in the name of Jesus. We should change our minds. We should take this time. To we should take this opportunity. Hallelujah, hallelujah. hallelujah. In our daily business, in our daily life, that we may portray the will of God. This is very important. Holy Spirit gets out of your home. When you get out of your home, the Spirit has planned your daily agenda. God wants us to be able to capture His work in our daily life. God wants us to be able to capture His work in every small details of our life. God wants us to be able to capture His work in every small details of our life. God wants us to be able to capture His work in every small details of our life. God wants us to be able to capture His work in every small details very hard for God to work with us since we don't get his will in small details of the world. God does not want to talk to a young man. He doesn't want to talk to a young man like he talks to a mother who has nine children and who are going to attend schools. He doesn't want to talk to a young man like he talks to a mother who has nine children and who are going to attend schools. 
God is very surprised at the way we want to live with him, but it's not the way that he wants to live with us. Let me give you a very good example. Your mom in January, because you have 10 kids, he goes to a prayer room, and you all have to come to house, and he has this promise that, that she, she will give birth to you. So she will only exit from the room, and she will only when God has done something. And if God doesn't do something right now, uh, when it's, it's not a, a physical thing, maybe he will she will have a, a spiritual hope. God will try his best and find a way to heal her heart. That's what we grew up seeing. I am your God. It's me who is not It's me who gave you the And they will I am on your side. This word made them stay Hallelujah. Hallelujah. She gets out and be saying, and we have started in the name of Jesus. God uses that all the time. But when God wants to come to, to work with the youth, He will use this part which is called a soul. He will use this part which is called he says, may the God of peace completely sanctify you. Imana yashu, our God, and the uh, in our spiritual part, your soul part uses three things. Intelligence, Emotions and choices. That's where God wants to meet these young people. The reason is God went to Joseph when he was a very young person. And he told, uh, and he told uh, him all his dreams. Okay. Anyway, they Joseph, Yumva, 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 And Joseph listened to what God has, was telling him. And this is very important. God gave him a vision. Uh, God gives a vision as young people. Because we have a very long time to live. God wants us to live in His property. When God calls you, He gives you a vision. So He wants you to be wise. He wants you to use your emotions. He wants you to choose wise. So that you will that's why he's going to, to allow Joseph to get out of his father's house. Because he saw the plans of his brothers unto his life. And he did not tell the father to say like he's very angry. And he had a very good And he was giving them food. He didn't even know how to Like in a book, it's 
time that he sees you, and when he sees you hurt and sees no love in you, he goes away. The love that we love Jesus Christ caused us to love the Holy Spirit. The only reason that we are not fulfilling his will is because we don't love him. In the ending, we are going to pray that God gives us the love to Jesus Christ so that we Feel his will. I want to tell you that the things God is calling us to do are very important. And they're not easy. Going to Gisimenti and bring those boys here. Going to Mijina and change that place into the kingdom. Turning the turning the thinking of this world into Christ-like thinking. It is possible. And we can do it. But in the, in the Jesus Christ, but there are some choices that we ought to take. And these choices are not pleasing to us. I beseech you in the power of God. Please choose what God wants. The final result was this. The kingdom of God dominated in Babylon. Nebuchadnezzar stood up some time and said, There is no other God who is going to be prayed in this Ariko decision ituma abakomeye bafata imyanzuro yo kugira ngo Imana ishyirwe muri position zose zo hejuru. But this, this, this decision that this power that caused political leaders to decide uh, to put God over the the old places. It only comes to life when you allow yourself to go into the den of lions. It comes to life when you allow yourself to go into fire. Getting back the life that God is telling us about is having the thinking that agrees to do the will of God. To have the thinking that's allow, that allows us to work into life. Uh, there are these guys who are going who have this thinking that allows them to go into fire. But so that they will never worship Satan. The awakening will happen as long as we see this kind of people. Now for the Lord and I will tell you one thing. Nago twese muri isari imana ishaka ko tumera gutyo kugira ngo byemere. Nago twese imana itegereje ko tugira iyo mitekerereze kugira ngo byemere. God is not going to wait for all of us to be like that. Itegereje Daniel. He's just waiting for Daniel. Uri muri position ye neza. Who is in a good position? Who vira umuka wera? Kabigenda na n'Imana. Kabizi gukora ubushake bw'Imana. Kandi wateguriwe intare. Kugira ngo icyubahiro cy'Imana kiboneke. So that the glory of God is the Daniel Imana ishaka. Yo esandura kana mishake na medenego. Imana iri kuvugana nawe. And God is talking to you. So that you change the, your decision. Tonight. If we change to this, uh, if we all change our life like that, to Africa. We will light up Africa. To Return the gospel to the white people alive and kicking. Because that is the promise of the youth in Africa. It is that we return back the gospel. It is that we go there and reopen their clothes. It is that we go there and heal their youth from drugs. It is that we go there and heal their youth from drugs. It is that we bring the answers that the world does not have. God is beseeching us to stand up and risk God, God is beseeching us to take decisions that we are So we will never reach that way. We can 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 never because that's what God wants. We have to change our decisions. Let's change our wants. And let's learn how to live with the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit speaks in the name of Jesus. He loves us in the name of Jesus Christ. The exercise that we're going to take on this 
this whole month. Tujende turebe umwuka wera mu tuntu duto mu buzima bwacu. Let's go and search the Holy Spirit in small details of our life. Umubaze urashaka ko nambara guti? Ask the Holy Spirit. Urashaka ko ryama ryari? How do you want me to wear? How do you want me to wear? What do you want me to eat? Urashaka ko niyogoshesha gute umwuka wera? What kind of haircut do you want me to make? Ashinda y'umunsi wange teye gute? What is my agenda? Umuhamagara wange nuwuhe? What is my calling? Ese urashaka ko ishuti zange tugenda nari zihe? Which friends do you want me to go with? Ese aka kasi kanye nakubaka gute byaza n'icubayiro cy'Imana muri ko? How can I do this job in the Ni gute ndahuza ubuzima bwanje n'ubushake bw'Imana? How can I match my life? Haleluya haleluya. It is possible in the name of Jesus. This is the gospel from you. Glory to God. And God will enable us. We're going to stand up and pray to God. We're going to enter into the spirit of prayer. God is very sorrowful because of these guards smoking on the roadside. We, we need someone to finance us, so we're going to pray to God. A singer once sang, our hearts will come down, and the light will be abandoned. But when will this happen? We will follow the, the path of when they build the church, God told the builders, and He gave us a promise that still lives. He said, When you pray, I will listen to your prayers. And there is no other job. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. And that's the only reason that God is making a prayer. It is because God made a vow. And He said, "When my people pray, when 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 my We're going to request the love of God. And do not let Satan deceive you. This is not the prayer request that I was making. Uh, maybe the, the request I came here with was going to be mine. But this is godly. And I'm going to tell you. Let's tell God. To you. Let's tell God that you told us to pray for your love. And that's what we're going to pray for. God will give you his love. You're going to get back to God. God bless you. In the Let's pray to God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, 
ngiye kubyina umukunga
Is a fool, sir. 